In this video here, we're going to talk about the Orbic Note extension and just how great it is and useful it is in a classroom uh, and how you can access PDFs uh, for students. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're just going to do a quick check of the Orbic Note extension and how to download it. So if I do a quick Google search for that, we should see the Orbit Note extension show up first at our Google search. And we're also going to notice that I have the button removed from Chrome here because that's an extension I already have on my extension list. Uh, you will see a button that says uh, add to Chrome if you don't have that extension. So go ahead and do that there. I'll also leave a link to, uh, to this Google search right to the Chrome store in my description. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to go over to my Google Drive here and we're going to see that I have a PDF example uh, ready for testing. So I'm just going to double click on that. One of two things might happen. This might be the most common thing that happens where it just gives you a preview of the uh, PDF that we're looking at. And then you'll notice a button at the top that says open with. So if we go ahead and click on that, uh, we will find Orbit Note show up on the second on my list here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. The second thing that might happen is that it might automatically open an Orbit Note. And if you're a regular user of Orbit Note, usually that changes, um, or sometimes we have to adjust things in the settings. So we will see here, now that it's opened up in Orbit Note, that we have a toolbar at the top that looks very familiar, very much like uh, the Text Help Read and Write toolbar, just with a few changes. So we can go ahead and actually use those uh, Orbit Note and Read and Write tools right on this PDF. So the first one I like to use is this one here. It's called Click to Speak. So if I go ahead and click on that, anywhere on this document that I click is where the uh, reader is going to start reading. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that there now that it's read. Um, and then another way that students can also um, have this read to them is if they highlight first, much like what we usually do on Read and Write, and then hit the play button. So hopefully uh, that was heard loud and clear, but I went ahead and paused that. Uh, and then we can also go ahead and stop it there too. Uh, the next item that we can also use uh, is this text button. So the students can actually answer the questions on this PDF and it will save automatically for them in their Google Drive or Classroom, which I'll show you shortly as well. So if I go ahead and click that T for text box, I'm just going to click right underneath here and then we'll see this text box appears. Let me do that again. And we're going to go ahead and type the answer here. Favorite game is Monopoly because it is a game that lasts a long time. And then you'll notice that some other applications also work in here. So language tool, for instance, is another extension that I really like using. And it's actually checking my um, grammar and spelling as I'm typing. And then you'll also notice that the box is a little bit small, but I can go ahead and make that a little bit longer and then click outside the box. And then that'll sit there for me to use. So if I'm a student and I'm writing this out, this answer will save automatically for me. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna delete this text box and we're gonna quickly add this to our Google Classroom. So if I hop into my Google Classroom example here, and then we go to classwork. And what's great about this is that we can add these PDF documents, these activity sheets, much like a Google Doc, exactly like a Google Slide. So if I go ahead and click on Create Assignment, and we'll just call it Example PDF, we can add the instructions if we wish and all of the other details that we want. But what we definitely need to do is go to our drive and add that document. So here it is, Example PDF. Well, we need to remember, again, just like a Google Doc or a slide that we want to share, we want to make sure that the student has their own copy and that they have editing access. So I'm going to go ahead and make a copy for every student. And then I want to click Assign. So now students can view this in their classwork section. Um, and then we're going to see how we could actually assess this work.
Okay, so we gave our students some time to take a look at the document and answer those questions. So if I go ahead and open the assignment, we can see that one student turned this in here. So we can go ahead and click on that. And we can also see that our new student has turned it in. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that response there. A new window will open. And again, much like a Google Doc or a Google Slide that we have set up as an assignment on Classroom, we could actually access our Orbit note from within Google Classroom and we can see our students' answers. And what's great about this too is that we can provide the feedback right on the document itself so the student can actually make any corrections or anything that they need to do. So I'm looking at this, what is your favorite game? Why is it your favorite? My favorite game is Tetris because I love puzzles. Um, so maybe we want to ask a question of something like, what is the highest level you have made it to? Oops. We're just going to scooch that over. So you'll see we can also move the text boxes around also. So the student can uh, see those responses there. And then same thing here. We see that we have a couple of spelling errors. We could also use something called this little pin, which actually if I put this here, creates the text box. Please double check your spelling. Oops. In your responses. And then once I click out of that little text box, it leaves this little pin here. So anytime that the student actually clicks on the pin, the response shows up. So it doesn't um, bog up the whole page. It keeps it simple, keeps it hidden in the pin until the student needs to see it. So I want to go ahead and click return. After giving feedback, after marking it and assessing, we are good to go there. Um, and that is it about Orbit Node. There's a few other tools that could be discussed in another video, uh, but up to here is where I'm going to stop. Uh, please subscribe and check out other videos uh, on my channel. Thanks so much.